What's going on? It's Bruno Marcel Tapman back at it again with another reaction video. Welcome to the Marcel channel. And today we are reacting to the declassification of the UFO footage put out there by the Pentagon. I guess this was captured years ago and I guess it just reached the surface in 2020. It's pretty ironic because with everything going on with the oh almost I almost said it with the COVID-19 and just everything. This is just another thing to add to that. And the people really aren't stressing about this too much. I find it kind of odd. So I want to just react to this, watching it the first time and seeing what these UFOs, UFO things look like. So um, I say we get straight to it, man. Connor, you already know what to do. My boy, Willie Smith. The Pentagon declassifying three videos of what they're calling unexplained aerial phenomena. What is that? that look, what is it? That literally looks like all the UFOs we used to draw in class, like with the circle, with the with the circle, and then we draw like a half circle on the bottom end, kind of like Saturn. Two videos showing objects spotted by Navy fighter pilots during training flights in 2015. <laughs> Bro, why are they cheering like that? This this one was saying. The government, everybody, they have so much information they won't tell us. And I feel like they just pick and choose when they want to tell us this information. And I feel like this is one of those instances. Like, I feel like everybody knows aliens. Well, me personally, I believe aliens are real. Yes, I believe extraterrestrial life is out there. But I feel like they're just toying with us, just giving us little hints here and there. And just be like, you know, we're, we're going to drop this bomb on them right now. And what's crazy about this is no one's really paying attention to this as I thought they would. It's not blowing up as big as I thought it would because of the COVID-19 pandemic. So they got COVID-19, they got the UFO sightings being released and declassified by the Pentagon. And no one's paying attention to it. It's like, it's like another day like, oh man, uh, you know, LeBron James just dropped 40 points, 20 assists and 20 rebounds. Okay, cool for a day. And then it just, in the back of our mind, it disappears. But this is like, as a kid, you, you always say, oh, aliens are real. And now we're getting proof. The world should be going insane right now. I'm excited about this. Like, I, I, I finally feel intelligent. Like, I was like, you know, I guessed this when I was seven years old. You know what I mean? In 2004, showing an object about 40 feet long, hovering about 40 50 feet, feet above the water. Oh. Weird, right? Well, get this. The videos were previously leaked by a private company founded by Blink-182 rocker Tom DeLong. On Monday, the Pentagon just officially released my videos. Just saying. So why are they being released now? A spokesperson saying, after a thorough review, you, the department... You know, you know the sick part about this, though? If this was edited, I'd be pissed off. ...that the authorized release of these unclassified videos does not reveal any sensitive capabilities or systems. DOD is releasing the videos in order to clear up any misconceptions by the public on whether or not the footage that has been circulating was real. Harry Reid, former senator of Nevada, home to the infamous Area 51, tweeting, I'm glad the Pentagon is finally releasing this footage, but it only scratches the surface of research and materials available. I see, I told you, they, they, they got more, they got more stuff that we don't know about. They possibly had aliens on Earth today. The Area 51s of the world, right? That we can never access or get video access to. I'm just saying. It's kind of fucked up. The DOD not offering much more info, saying the aerial phenomena observed in the videos remains characterized as unidentified. unidentified. Retired Navy Commander David Fravor was piloting the jet in the 2004 video. And it's moving around left, right, forward, back. The radar immediately starts getting jammed. All of a sudden, it takes off. A mystery Whoa. of galactic proportions. <laughs> How do you explain a whole fleet of unidentified UAPs? Well... <laughs> E.T. phone home. The Navy has acknowledged that the release of these newly declassified videos prompted the development of new guidelines for how pilots should report sightings of unauthorized or unidentified aircraft, which means it must be happening enough for them to meet the guidelines. So, I mean, my final thoughts on this, man, I know it's a quick reaction video, but I, I seen this video, someone DM'd it to me and, and hit me on Twitter about it. Uh, someone commented saying I should react to it. That's a, that's, a, that's an actually good idea. So, I, you know. Hopped on my chair, you feel me? Got my computer open, got the camera ready. Um, but anyways, my final thoughts on this is, here's my thing, man. If we're gonna release these videos, you can't say unidentified objects. We're immediately going to think UFOs. And everybody has been saying it's a UFO. So why are we still classifying it as unidentified? You guys know, I think they know, 
what it is. But they're just teasing us to see how we're going to react to the information that we are receiving right now. I don't know, man. Um, I don't know too much on this topic. You know, I'm not a space engineer. What do they call them? I don't know. I My major in college was communications, which is why I like to talk. It's crazy. We kind of we kind of got some type of validation that aliens are real, even more so now. You know, this kind of debunks a lot of the myths that there are objects out there in the universe that aren't human or man-made. Like the universe is way too big for just the humans to be the only species. But man, yeah, comment below what you guys think of this video of this information that we just received from the Pentagon, man. I think it's pretty interesting. It's gonna have people dive into a lot of conversations. It's kind of like the top 10 YouTuber, Hooper List. People are gonna start conversating now. It starts conversation. That's a good thing, you know what I mean? But man, I just wish we knew definitive answers, damn it. I should put myself as Howard. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, turn post notifications on, man, and comment videos you want me to react to next, bruh. That's crazy though, because like, what if what if humans are in that UFO because they got abducted by aliens, like in the movies and the comics and shit. That's why they're saying unidentified because they're trying to see if they can get to the ship to see if they can get the humans out of there. This is just crazy. My mind is blown. Goodness.